the flood and the rainbow. Noah finished building the ark, and God said to him, Go into the ark with your whole family. Just as I told you before, take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and two of every kind of unclean animal, the male and its mate, and also seven of every kind of birds, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that for seven days, just like the Lord commanded him. Noah and his wife and his son, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and his son's wife, entered the ark. Pairs of clean and unclean animals of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark. Then God shut the door of the ark. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day, the flood waters came on the earth. Father, there is such a downpour. I can't see at all how long this will be. God said, 40 days, my son. Now I can't see the mountain, houses and people. There nothing left. Nothing left but water. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the water increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountain to the depth of more than twenty feet. Every living thing that moved on the earth was dead. Birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swam over the earth, and all mankind. We are the only ones who survived this flood. We are the only creatures left in the world. Now the springs of the deep and the flood gates of the heavens had been closed, and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. I remember Noah, he and his family, and those with him in the ark must have a hard time. I am going to make it stop. God sent the wind over the earth and the waters receded. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the water had gone down. And on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountain of Ararat. The waters continued to recede and after three months, the tops of the mountain became visible. After forty days, Noah opened the window in the ark. Fly, raven! Noah sent out a raven, and it kept flying back and forth until the water had dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove. Let's see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground. But the dove could find no place to set its feet because there was water over all the surface of the earth. So it returned to Noah in the ark. Oh, not yet. Okay, come on, I will take you back in. He waited seven more days and again sent out the dove from the ark. The dove returned to him in the evening. Oh, isn't it olive leaf in your beak? Now I know the water had receded from the earth. 
He waited seven more days and sent the dove out again, but this time it did not return to him. By the first day of the first month of Noah's six hundred and first year, Noah removed the covering from the ark and looked out the outside. By the twenty seventh day of the second month, the earth was completely dry. Then God said to Noah, "Come out." Of the ark, all of you, multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number upon it. Never again I will destroy all living creatures, as I have done. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the promise between me and you. I have set my promise in the clouds. And it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Genesis chapter nine, verse thirteen.